Libram Pelly definitely looked like a very good deck to be trying on day one from the Fury Crafting stream, but honestly it did feel a little bit lackluster. And I'm not really sure how uh, top tier this deck might be, it might end up being something like a hand buff Pally, like uh, great in Diamond 5 to Legend, but uh, not so much in Higher Legend. Uh, it felt like it could do some pretty cool stuff, it's a simple deck, uh, and definitely was enjoyable to play, so in this video I'm gonna give you a quick guide about it, show you what I came up with, as well as some of my games from the Fury Crafting stream. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to get hired for some Hearthstone coaching, and check out my Metafy Hearthstone courses. Now, let's check out the deck. Here's the variant I came up with, and we're obviously running all of the Librams in here, uh, and the Librams nowadays would be your Librum of Clarity, which draws you a couple of minions and buffs them if you manage to discount this low enough. We also have Librum of uh, Divinity, which gives you a plus three plus three, and if it costs zero it comes back to your hand at the end of the turn, which can be pretty nice. And lastly we have Librum of Faith, uh, which is pretty good on its own, summoning you a uh, free free freeze with Divine Shield, and if you actually got this down to zero, they also have Rush, which is absolutely insane. Insane, but honestly we didn't really manage to drop this down to zero because it's gonna take quite a lot of work and by the time you have this down to zero it's probably not even gonna be that amazing. Uh, you have plenty of different ways to actually discount your Librams uh, including things like uh, your Interstellar Wayfarer as well as your weapon Interstellar Starsicle and also the Holy Cowboy does a great job with it discounting your next Holy spell down by two so uh, yeah even if you have one of each you're still not gonna be able to discount this down to zero, so it does take quite a lot of time. Like the best, like the best way to get this down to zero would be if uh, you stack a couple of holy cowboys and you still have to play another four drop and three drop weapon, so it's not gonna be happening before turn six, I think. Uh, we also have a uh, astral vigilant in here, which gives you a copy of the last drain eye you played, and the main last drain eye you want to be playing would be either your uh, interstellar reserve researcher, which uh, draws you a Librum, both on battle cry and spell burst, or your discount uh, drain eye, the in interstellar wayfarer, and we also have Irel, which is also a drain eye, and she gives you one of the old uh, Librams, like one of each, the the plus one, the the one for weapon plus equality combo, and uh, the the healing plus divine shield taunt uh, Librams. She's not giving you uh, the the weapon Librum as well as there was one more Librum, wasn't there? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of. Let, let's just see what they were, honestly. No, I can't even because uh, this is limited to standard only. But uh, yeah, you get it. Oh shit, never really seen this uh, guy's signature. That's that looking kind of awesome. But uh, yeah, uh, we also uh, included a Starlight Wanderer in here, so you can actually have an actual one drop in here, because let's face it, this is not a one drop you want to be playing on turn one, whereas this actually gives you something to do. We have a couple of high hosts to fit out the deck, a single instrument deck here so you can find your sickle, the interstellars are obviously pretty nice so you can fit out the librams, uh, mining casualties are pretty nice spell bursts for you, holy cow boys discount either of the librams, the weapon is a no-brainer, like as any librams, they're gonna be uh, pretty nice. Uh, we have these to, to draw minions out of your deck quicker. We also have the Grill Master, which uh, draws you the lowest card, and on Death Rattle draws you the highest card, and here actually the highest card is uh, this thing, which we didn't even get to play, honestly. It feels like uh, it didn't feel right for this deck, but it is something to consider, I guess. Uh, but you can also get your Velen that way quicker, even though I didn't get to see him a single time during my games. And Amidas is also uh, from your expense event, so you could be getting her out as well like that. Uh, the Wayfarer is pretty nice being a Divine Shield and also discounting you like that. Uh, this Librum was pretty nice, because it allows you to do some better value trades, get some better face damage, and you don't always actually want to play this uh, at zero, sometimes you just whip it out, make some room in your hand, like it's not super uh, impactful for you, even though obviously it is a great way to keep on getting yourself zero mana plus three plus three. Erel Beacon of Hope is pretty nice because she also has Rush, but also don't forget you are gonna probably overdraw with her later if you uh, actually uh, use Velen afterwards, or if you actually get her as a copy from uh, the Astral Vigilant. The Librum of Faith, honestly, playing this on tempo was pretty nice, especially if you follow up with Amidas afterwards, uh, with plus two plus two, getting yourself five five Divine Shields is pretty, pretty nutty. Uh, Lumia, 
surprisingly a lot better than I expected. Like, you, in some cases, you just tempo this out, sitting at 8 health. If the opponent just has a 7 attack on the board, they go face, and after that you go immune, so they gotta heal you back. Or they just gotta ignore Lumia for a turn or two. Uh, but don't d get baited into thinking, uh, if you have a weapon and play Lumia, and slap into something to damage yourself that turn, do not expect to be immune the entire turn. You're just immune during your turn, and the opponent has his turn, uh, where he still gets to attack you face once and then you become immune again so uh don't expect to protect yourself attacking into a 1-1 or something like that i tried it it doesn't work i was pretty sure it wasn't gonna work but we did it for science anyway and yeah lastly we have amidas which is pretty nice to for all sorts of different ways obviously and velen as well uh which has a taunt and death rattle that triggers all battle cries and death rattles for your utter drain eye so uh you will be drawing librams you will be discounting librams uh, with this thing, you will be getting yourself extra Librams from the past, that kind of nonsense. All around, that's it for the deck. Uh, it felt pretty simple, pretty straightforward, enjoyable to play, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be top, top tier or anything like that. Maybe bottom tier too at best, if, if we gotta be completely honest, but time will tell. Obviously, it's uh, still gonna need some work to really get a effective variant of it, so uh, let's not uh, throw in the tell just yet. Hope you enjoyed the guide, now let's check out some of my Fury Crafting games with it. Hope you enjoy. Okay, against the Shaman, it's Old Guardian. That ain't bad. I'd definitely like to get the Spellburst going. I think I'm gonna go like this. A little bit too many two drops, but uh, we'll see. Um, it's gonna be an active participation giveaway for the Mega Bundles. I'm uh, actually gonna coin this out on an empty board, why not? You guys can check out my latest Top 5 Meta Report video for a chance to win one of the regular bundles. I will be drawing the winner in, uh, I don't know, next 30 minutes I'd say. Oh shit, I thought this thing has Spell Burst, uh, Divine Shield for some reason it doesn't. Uh, let's get some of them Librams going. I'm gonna make that trade. Don't want to get jived or something. A uh, jam session, that is. Yeah, happy to hear, Skundi. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be for the regular bundle. Check out the new top 5 meta report and leave a comment. What you guys think that I should improve in my Hearthstone content and such. As for the mega bundles, it's gonna be from people actually watching the stream, so... uh Hold tight. Keep on watching and we'll do the thing soon. Okay. Again, I don't want to get jammed, you know? Let's try to play this and this thing goes down to zero. Okay, lightning storm apparently. That ain't too bad. I'd rather do that for this turn. Alrighty. Pretty fun rock, pretty fun. The starships definitely feel stronger than expected, maybe, but a little bit clunky, but sometimes they really click. Like one of those rogues really handed my ass to me. Drain I? Oh man, it is. Let's fucking go. Our souls are scattered across the universe. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so I can actually do this. I'm gonna really stress slapping. Good luck with that. I mean, next try I might just play it as is. I mean, I can still discount it to zero, so probably will. But if I couldn't, I still probably would have. The way things are going. And then moving, keep on grooving. Oh man, how could you? I thought we were friends. Just summon these, man. Like, they're actually kind of height with Divine Shield and such. And it sets up for this thing. Let's do that. I don't need them to have Rush. Looks sure Amidas would like to know his location. Yeah, good stuff. Get some. Yeah, it's actually quite the popular headphones. I've been seeing a lot of streamers jam with it. <coughs> yep, against the old guardian himself. Greetings, friend. Okay, that's a bit slow. Well, JG, I guess. Amidas knows his location. Pally broken again, confirmed. Shut up, play it around it. Okay, flawless victory. Flawless victory. Whack an all for the weapon, Librum? What? What was that even? What did Wakanol do? Special. I must protect the wild. Time waits for no one. I can set this up, but doesn't sound too bright. Uh, without a curve, I'd rather just toss it. Get the weapon, maybe, and such. Well, that's a bit better now, isn't it? Better friend, there shadow reduce the costicles. Against the druid, it's a good idea to tempo. Historically speaking. Let's do it. Yep. This is all of the cars, all of the skins, all of the dust, gold, everything you could have. It's a god tier account kind of deal, you know? He's running Blood Tree, and I'm assuming it's some kind of. Okay, so apparently it's some kind of tree and druid. With this thing as well. It's gonna be nasty. Won't give weapon? Are you sure about that, Cold Blood? Because it said Libram on it as well. Or does it say specifically Libram spells? Because if it's Libram cars, that includes the two weapons too. There's no time. Let's get out of the way.
We will find our salvation in the stars. That's kind of weird, man. Said Librum on the others too, if I'm not mistaken, but I often am. Well, no need to speculate, we're soon about to find out. We will be finding out. It's time to raise the stakes. There's no time. Hidden tech? What do you mean, X? Nowadays you can just hold on to them and they're gonna open up 50 at a time, so... We have come a long way. Let's try and just drop this. Oh man. Oh man. Infinite possibilities. I'll smoke ya. This may take a while. Hmm. Not sure if that was very bright. Kinda sure it wasn't. There's no time. The rope is not. Something. But I'm in danger here. Well, I mean, that's all fine, but it's still a Librum from the past, Gold. It came, the second weapon came from, uh... Dark Moon Fair. Because it had Corrupt on it, but it's still a Librum on it. I don't know. Not a full clear, at least. Well... Fucking hell, man. That's getting out of hand, and I don't have a way to resist. Lifesteal. Okay, this helps. This helps big time, yo. Save me. Save me, Mama Lumia. Let's fucking go. Hold me, Mama. Is this gonna stabilize as fuck? It better. Why are you not a drain eye? Oh, cheese trick. Yeah, the, the first 10 packs are guaranteed a legendary, and they have separate counters depending on gold or regular. Good stuff indeed, and different expansions and whatnot. Okay. Still alive. Trades. 
Well, I'm back to full, but I'm gonna have to deal with this thing somehow. May take a while. 18 damage showing, huh? Last drain I have played is shit. Find the winning line. Minions I can draw here are gonna be pretty shit. Don't have room, man. In the great dark beyond. Well, we're drawing here with the top deck, but might as well. I'm probably dead anyway. He is a that type of deck. Okay, bro had to count that one on his feet. That's what we have deck tracker for, bud. What do you mean? Okay, deck is looking promising, but uh, not much recover potential there, it feels. We are going first this time, and we actually have a one drop, so let's fucking go. Do I have a con man? No, we're not running the. The tourist here. I'm down to hold the whole thing. Okay, Mama Lumia and save the day again. Oh, well, he's certainly good at getting his cactuses. The cactuses. Wow, got the freaking starship. Fascinating. I'm gonna have to respect it. Yeah, the Cactusi. Them's a lot of cacti. Get three different Librams from an older timeline. Okay, so I guess they've worded it in a way that they can get away from just giving it from the original Librams. Time waits for no one. Barely, but still. Okay, has two damage lined up like that. No time. I am gonna be trading a lot, he is a token -y style deck, so we are gonna have to be fighting for our lives, and we are missing mixture it seems. Hopefully the top deck changes that, Arel looks sick. Kinda. She's aight. I'm a draw. Well, could've been better, could've been worse. I'm not in a hurry for the Librams to get discounted, so I'm gonna chill here. Yeah, signatures are pretty nice. She has Rush. Do I need Rush right now? Hmm. Yeah, 
guess, sure. Keep on fitting the boards, because uh it does have plenty of board buffs. Is this even the same deck? Last one also had some starship pieces, but this one feels a bit greedier. No, it is the same deck. Could get a copy of Irel. Who do I want a copy of? Irel or this guy? Or heck, even this guy. Probably not that guy. I'm gonna get another Irel, but uh, let's make the trade like this. Okay. Yeah, shit, dude. Why does Deck Tracker not recognize this at least? Like, fucking hell. Okay, let's cycle through our Libroms. Actually, fuck, man, I'm gonna burn so much now. Ah, shit, dude, that was stupid. I'm gonna burn so much now. Well, I can still give it, because why not? But um, that was kind of silly. That was kind of silly. Should not have played the Spellburst Girl. We have plenty of ways to get more of those Librums, though. Oh god. Well, at least they have the Justice. We are gonna try Meteor Shaman as well. Still haven't, though. Oh god, Zilliax incoming. Well, I'm burning the top deck too. Not the best burn for me. Possibilities. 28 damage showing, you say. Bit absurd, bit absurd. Oh, 
is infinite. The rope is not. So I guess I guess and uh make it into a nine because he has eight showing, but he's probably gonna be a bit above it anyway. I can draw my big man with this thing. Has to die though. Am I dead? Guess not. Okay, good news is now with the Librum I can actually do a lot. The battle. Kill this taunt first so that the other one doesn't land on it. Because that'd be a damn shame. Don't land on the starship, bitch. Fucking bullshit, dude. So rigged. Okay. Well, I'd rather get the big stuff out. Should I give it the plus three? I don't need this to return in my hand. I actually kind of need some room. No Let's poke this out, perhaps. Let's turn I might play this thing if I feel healthy enough. Also, if I play Lumia and smack into a 1-1, one -one, am I immune for the entire turn? I don't think so. Or is it just for my turn? That's a lot of buffing. I don't feel safe. I guess I'm gonna have to try the Lumia thing. Let's see if we can get the big man. That's not the big man I was talking about. For the rest of turn, but mine or the entire? Kinda sounds like mine, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of sounds like mine only. I am alive as it stands right now, but still. With Lumia, that is. No harm in trying? Well, it literally is the difference between living and dying. Now's the thing, I'm not dead anyway, but I guess I'll try. Yeah, I'm not immune. Well, we tried. We have to ride. If I didn't attack there, we were alive at uh, barely. Um, if I actually did not do that, I had a chance of winning because this thing was drawing me my highest cost card and that would have been the 99 guy. So that would have destroyed everything. But I uh, kind of was uh, 
5% unsure if that's gonna work the way I kind of hoped it did, but it didn't. Against a rogue, Daneheart. We did it for science, guys. We did it for science. Yeah, this guy is what we were gonna get for sure. Go like this. Yeah, they really have come a long way after they had an absolute massive flop with the first batch on the castle Natria. Keep one handy for the memes. Bubble buddies. Bubble buddies. Bubble buddies. This is gonna be a hard spell burst to pull off. For this turn at least. I think I'm just gonna draw a couple. I don't need them to be buffed. Okay, there's the 99 for ya. Witness true arcane magic. Oh man. How enigmatic. That's a lot of draw, dude. I'm not gonna be able to stop it anytime soon. Feels like the deck is lacking on the reactive part so far. Go down. Go down. Come on. Come on. Might be a bit too slow to try to discount the Librams and shit. If I give plus three right now, I get to kill this thing at least. Copy this. Should I get the spell burst girl or make this guy into a 6 3? 6 3 doesn't do much. Spell burst girl does draw my last two Librams if I need them. This one is a bit too slow anyway, so yeah, let's get her instead. Feels like a Tigress plush would work well in this deck. That one won't live the full life. Rock number 802, welcome to the collection! He's got a bunch of these. Would have been nice if they have rush, but we're nowhere near that. That's a lot of stats, and we haven't even discounted them yet. Now 
Now this is treasure. How long can you hold? Oh god. I don't feel too good. I don't feel too good, guys. Now this is treasure. This one's a trivial Jesus. How long can you hold? Turn six, by the way. Daddy, chill. We're trying to have fun over here. Wow. Turn bloody six. I knew combo rogue would be broken as fuck. They really need to do something about Sonya and fucking quick. And fucking quick. Hope they come to their senses at some point, but damn, that's insane. Turn bloody six. Well, we were actually trying. Feel like they curved out nicely there, but damn. That is a little bit obscene now, isn't it? I am pretty vague, aren't I? Just as long as you're genuinely watching the stream, we're doing the thing, so uh, that's how things like this should be. They should be for actual viewers. Okay. Against the Demon Hunter, this week in Hearthstone, my boy Migraine, we had a bunch of coaching action with him back in my day. Now he's doing the YouTube business, business himself, so give him a chuxicle. Let's see it. For uh, other future giveaways on Fury Crafting streams, make sure to be following my YouTube content. That's about it for the YouTube giveaways. The next ones will be for the stream, so uh, no need to be uh, dropping comments for giveaways right now. Um, I'm gonna just chill this turn, I think, so that next turn I can uh, hi ho and turn after this coin that. So we can go with the good old draw. Okay, some Starship Demon Hunter shenanigans. Kind of outcast demon hunter, it seems. Okay, that's nice and slow for me. Let us see it, let us see it. Could get the weapon, or I could just put this guy out. I think I like this guy out a bit more. I actually could not get equipped the weapon there, what am I talking about? Next turn I could. Yeah, I think so, Serpinski. That's what I'm seeing from my account. Discounts nice and good. I should probably play a starship deck myself. Feels like I'm playing everything but the starships. Wait, what? Surely you can't target the starship like that. It's like a location, right? <laughs> Imagine targeting with, with Volterra there.
Oh god. Sorry, we don't have any ink. Yeah, so far this deck looks kinda random. I kind of want to be setting these up for next turn this thing, you know? I wish I could break my, my weapon right now, but sadly I can't. Infinite possibilities. Nope, it has to be a launched ship. I think it says it. Infinite. Um, I guess Amita's next turn is not going to be that amazing, is it? Let's just uh, repeat that last guy. I can also uh, plug this thing out. Okay about it. I don't need it to come back. It'll go back. Let's try to could fill the board with these things, maybe. We'll see. I think there's gonna be more drops after today, but uh for today it's just a couple of packs. Okay. There they are, the adjoining crewmates. I can get another one if I want to. I don't think I want to anymore though. What I can do is this thing. This goes down to two, and I could go like that. One of these, so I can make room for the other one. And go like that. Okay, next turn Amidas goes popping. Surely. Um, I built a nest. No, not an asteroid. A fire elemental mage that actually worked amazingly well. Uh, I have built the shaman. I'm gonna try that one too. But I probably should play some starships, don't I? Have you guys seen any broken starship decks so far? Which one should we concentrate on? Do let me know if you see some uh, amazing starships. Not uh, yet. Yeah. The rogue ones seem pretty promising, but also pretty random now in it. Got this one in it. I honestly can't even tell what class this one is. Apparently it's a demon hunter, but... Or it's actually neutral. Well, Amidas takes the cake. Yeah, quite the sticky Amidas board, isn't it? Turn to the light if you still haven't. Turn to the light. Okay. Okay, yeah, the Liberum Pally sounds pretty, pretty nice. The Liberum Pally is alright. Let's go with the, with the Shaman. Elemental Shamanian. 